fastest hill climb racers in the world as we're looking at round two of the Rimshaw Circuit, Rocky Mountain Snowmobile Hill Climb Association. Afton, Wyoming, a lot of my boys racing here, the best riders in the world. This is where they compete uh, on mountain snowmobiles. So it's really the only place to do so. It is very, very competitive. So today we're watching Pro Open Modified. They're gonna battle it out. Before we get going, if you guys enjoy the video, drop a like, comment, you know, subscribe to the channel. I'm currently in Montreal as we await the launch of 2025 Lynx snowmobiles along with Skidoo, they're launching as well. So there will be a ton of videos dropping on uh, what they bring. I actually don't know what's happening yet. So uh, I'll get briefed tomorrow, right before everybody else, and then we'll see what they bring to the table. So let's get into it, Pro Open Modified. If you guys wanna watch these, they're all streamed on Flow Sports every weekend that they race, and it's very competitive. It's about an eight hour broadcast, so there's a lot of racing going on. All right, we're hopping in. Justin Thomas. Justin is a staple for sure. The guy, uh, very smart, builds a lot of his own parts, designs a lot of the, his own uh, suspension components. He has his own skid, so he is a staple and has been uh, very, very competitive for a long time. Now we're hopping on Sam Peterson. If you guys see any stutters in the video, it's on the Wi-Fi or Flow Sports end. Sam is very quick and he's he's climbed up through kind of the ranks. Now he's racing Pro Open Mod and uh, competing with the best of the best. These are the, the fastest guys in the world. Right here, coming around gate 12 to 13, or 10 to 11 is really rough. Sam's fired up on that run, that was, that was fast. 33.68, so he just put two seconds on Justin Thomas there. So Sam's Sam's got a solid margin, and we'll see kind of where, where the timing stacks out. Like, is Sam gonna be fast, or is uh, Justin gonna be slow? That's kind of what we're, we're gonna see. All right, up next, we got Cole Thomas, young gun. Cole's come up in the last few years. He was racing semi-pro, and now uh, he's on your I believe two or three of pro and Cole can flat out get it done. So a relative to Justin Thomas and brothers with Andy Thomas. So you could say the Thomas family has uh, has a lot of lineage in the hill climb world. Little bobble down by gate seven, but one thing about Cole is this guy likes to stand it up on end. Just like that, geez. Holding on a little bobble right there, but we'll see where this ends up. 36.09. Okay, so Sam is, it's looking like Sam's gonna be fast. Up next on Skidoo, we got 5.22, Mason Rutledge. Mason's also one who can put one away. Very, very, I mean, like I said, dude, this is where the, the boys come to play. And you'll see in the timings, I'm assuming we're gonna have some really close times. Uh, bobble there really rough course these guys didn't get snow until just about a week ago um, I wasn't even sure they were gonna run this race and then oh You can see the grass sticking up through. I mean, they're they're running on about two feet of snow 38.17 So that 33 is a tough tough time to touch. All right. We got Cameron Lindsay on course for cat Now Afton is one of those courses that's pretty steep and technical compared to a lot of the other uh, tracks that they race throughout the season. So a lot of these guys are gonna use how they perform here in Afton to judge what they need to do for Jackson. Because Jackson is obviously where all the hardware and the money and everything is kind of made. That's the big one for these guys. So Afton is really kind of their testing grounds on like what will they look like going into uh, Jackson where it is the steepest and most technical course on uh, the circuit. That's why it's just so prestigious a Little bobble there for Cameron 44 7 4 so he's out on that they're competing for class wins here And then whoever wins this uh, pro mod will go into the Kings race. All right, here we go. We got Blaine my boy Blaine, I was just with him last week and he's got racing on the mind. He's really trying to put some stuff together this year. 
bottom of his run took that high line, which is nice. Come on, Blaine. He doesn't look as fast in the bottom right there, unfortunately. Man, right around gate 12, there's that just off camber that they're sliding around. Yeah, 37.36. Blaine's not stoked with that. Blaine is, uh, he needs to be, he needs to be up there top one too for him to be excited. Jay on course. Mental berries. So these two are my boys, obviously. Spend a lot of time with them, and uh, yeah, I want them to get out there and win some races. Holy shit. Here we go. This is where it gets shitty right here. Let's see if Jay does. Pretty good. He went wide, though. 37.81. See, they're just not as quick in the bottom, and... Uh, and right there around gate 12, that's where that's where Sam went right through that very smoothly. Oh God, Keith Curtis, the absolute robot, alien. Look at him hang, dude. The guy's eight feet tall. So this is where Sam's nervous. His teammate, Keith, is an absolute stallion. The most dominant hill climb racer ever. Okay, here we go. Right here through this 12. Let's see how Keith does it. Yeah, Keith just stayed high and missed the whole thing, like to his look rider's left, which is insane. Oh, he kind of got hung up there. Wow. So he, he took a new, new line and got hung up. All right, Andy Thomas on course. One of my boys, known Andy for a long time, and he is made himself a staple in the name of hill climb. I mean, this guy can go win some shit. Man, just rough. Looking pretty good here. He kind of slid out right there. Here's his crux. He bumped, but he was—he looked smooth through there. Thirty-five nine nine. Sam was fast. So you guys can, if you, as we watch, you watch these similar runs that every guy goes through, and you can see the course is changing. Guys are pulling different lines, and as a 200 horsepower snowmobile chews its way through it, this course changes quickly. So there is potentially benefits to running earlier or later. Um, it just depends on how things shape up. And what you'll see is just the guys that are truly the best is they will continue to go faster and faster throughout the day, regardless of how the, the course shapes up. All right, Zach Matheson on Skidoo. Ooh, big bounce there. 39.15. Sam put down a heater. I cannot get over that. He's got still got two over two seconds on Justin Thomas. All right, Calvin Ehrman. So these guys, for those of you who don't know how the racing works, uh, on Friday these guys all qualified up this course and. They're only a rat allowed to uh, qualify for five classes, so which gives them basically five runs the next day. And uh, you obviously want to qualify for all five classes, and then be able to put yourself in position to go race on uh, Saturday. And then if you win your classes, then you then you compete for for the king titles. So there's stock king, improved king, and that's basically the winners of each. Uh, each class and each class has divisions within that class. So there's mod open mod <coughs> and They all have different kind of regulations on what you can do to your snowmobile and this and that so 
you'll have your stock sleds, your six, seven, eight, nine stock, uh, your improved, and then obviously uh, your um, your mod. That's it on Pro Open Modified. And damn, Sam Peterson, Justin Thomas, Andy Thomas, Cole Thomas, Jay Manaberry, Blaine Matthews. Absolutely stacked. But in between, Sam Peterson put down an absolute heater, 33.68 and put two seconds on Justin Thomas, but then from Justin Thomas to Andy Thomas is a tenth of a second. 35.82 and Andy came across at 35.99, so um, almost two tenths of a second. And then Cole Thomas was uh, a tenth of a second off of uh, his brother Andy. Then Jay still within a second and Blaine within a second of Jay. So top five are, um, without besides Sam putting down absolute heater of a run, uh, top five were within one second. That's just how competitive this field is uh, for the fastest guys in the world. Let me know if you guys want another video like this. Uh, I appreciate you watching and we'll see what we can do as we go forward. Check out 2025 links and Skidoo dropping tomorrow. If you watch this later, they're already live. Check them out. We'll see you guys next time.